Hey, Matt31, I had a question coming out of section 2.5, number 53, and, and how do we do this problem using the iPhone app, the Graph and Calc 83? So we were given this equation um, where we were told, hey, this is how much profit you'll make pending you sell this many or X items at an auction. So if I wanna find this maximum profit, and I wanna use my calculator to do it, because that's a great way to optimize, when I say optimize, I mean finding maxes or mins, but let's find maximum profit. I enter my equation into my y equals, and that y equals, it's the button on the upper left um, upper left corner of the, of the app. That's great. I'm going to hit graph, which is immediately to the right of, of that. And here's where your calculator really differs from, uh, I should say the calculator app differs from the physical calculator in terms of how we graph. So right now I have the zoom standard window. Uh, my X values are going left to right from negative 10 to 10. And my Y values, if we look down to up, they're also going from negative 10 to 10. And that's what you'll hear me reference in the, the physical calculator apps, I, I call it Zoom 6. And here, if you look on the bottom left, there's the word Zoom. And if you look in the seventh option, wedged in between Z decimal and Z trig is the word standard. And that's that's the view I'm picking here. Now, this is definitely not a complete picture of this parabola. And this is where we have to use our knowledge of parabolas to help us out. If we look at the equation, and I, I'm going to go back to my Y equals equation, you see that lead coefficient is a negative 2. So I know I have an upside down parabola or a sad parabola, meaning the this little green line I see here, it's actually not even a line, it's part of the parabola, but it's definitely not the entire parabola. So what happens on the app is because it's a touch screen, just like with pictures, right, you can zoom in and out. So you can't see this, but I'm going to start pinching this in and you can start to see that my scale is changing and there's the other half of the parabola. So now that I've seen the other um, x-intercept, I'm actually just gonna scrunch it horizontally. Oops, wow, that's fun. I'm gonna try and just scrunch it horizontally. I'm not an expert at this. Let me keep going. There's the top. Okay, that's looking better. There we go. So that's a decent, uh, a decent graph. I can now see my entire parabola and ultimately I just want the max. So what I do is if I put my finger on the, the green parabola, this little crosshair shows up and, and, and all I have to do is just scooch, right? I, I just trace this out and then it'll latch on to the max and you can see the max there at X equaling 70 with a maximum profit of $8,800. So that's how we actually go ahead and uh, and find this, right? So it says find find the maximum. There it is, right? 70 comma 8800. So when I sell 70 items at this auction, all right, that will give me the maximum profit of $8800. And the specific question here says how many items sold would make a profit a maximum. So it's technically 70 items need to be sold and then I will make that maximum profit of $8800. All right? Thanks so much everyone. Bye.